uh, lots of cute girls, a lot of butter and shit, but it's just like, it's too fucking cold. Like, I, it's just like, I need heat. I'm 23, I've been living in fucking snow forever, exactly, I'm tired of fucking shoveling. Like, my nigga, I'm basically doing a fucking workout, I don't need to go to the gym and I'm stuff shoveling all fucking day. I'm building massive ass fucking Popeye biceps with this shit. <laughs> <clears throat> and it's really, yeah. it's, it's time to get the oh, Damn. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That shit hurt. You don't want, you don't want that shit blowing out your fucking eardrums because then I'm gonna, I'm gonna be talking to someone. They gonna be like, Nate, 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 Nate. I'll be like, I can't hear you because I'm fucking deaf. This shit's gonna blow my fucking hair out. Maybe blow my fucking brains out. I don't want to. I'm too young to fucking be dying right now. Fuck that shit. So like I said, I'm ready to get the fuck out. This place is a beautiful place. But you know what? It's crazy the, sh the people that you meet in your life. You know, I'm 23. I'm still meeting new people. And it's like, so we just got this new roommate. His name is Mel. I love my boy Mel, right? But the thing I can't stand is I think people who sleep with the TV on is fucking batshit insane. It just doesn't make any sense. Because it's like me, when I sleep, I need peace quiet obviously if there's a beautiful lady next to me we can do all the peace and quiet to ourselves but i'm like at least the tv I, well maybe the tv should be on so we can block out the noise we you know i'm like we got roommates everybody's hearing and shit you feel me they're gonna be putting this on porn or something i don't i don't want my name on that shit i'll never get a job what the fuck well maybe but i don't want that type of job that shit's trash so I think people who sleep with the TV on, it just doesn't make any sense. It's like, I'm in my room and I'm trying to sleep and all I hear is, da, 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 Ricky and fucking Morty. I'm like, Shh, can this nigga turn this shit the fuck down? I think the TV level is at least at 30, maybe 35. Like my nigga, people even upstairs can fucking hear you. Maybe the downstairs neighbor can't fucking hear the TV too. Turn that shit the fuck down or turn it off. And it's crazy because I, I go to these like resorts, I'm like, you know what? Either I'm gonna be listening to music or I'm gonna put it on porn because I need something to drown out this fucking noise right now. Like this shit is just, I'm, I'll go crazy, I'm losing my fucking mind. And as long with the weed, the weed does help because when you smoke, you go to bed. You feel good, you feel a lot better. I'm like, exactly, but who's upstairs? Is it in your head or some shit? He's bad shit insane, definitely. No, fuck it, y'all kidding with you, right? I was joking. Oh, nah, nah, nah. But like, I like smoking weed a lot, you know, it makes me feel better, it makes me feel good, and it helps me go to bed, especially when I got the TV fucking blaring, because I, I feel like, you know, the reason why I like stand-up is because if I don't if I don't talk about this shit, if I don't get this shit off my mind, I feel like my brain is gonna explode. Like, you know, one day I'm just walking down the street, it's perfectly fine. Like, everyone has those weird anxiety nonsense attacks that just happen out of nowhere. Like, you, 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 one day you're doing good, probably one week you're doing good, and the next Week is your brain's like, it's like, leave me the fuck alone. Sometimes your brain just goes crazy. And I don't know, anxiety, jobs, weed, all that shit. I'm like, jobs obviously don't help. Weed obviously helps you with your anxiety. I'm like, maybe I have anxiety sometimes. Maybe that's why I just talk a lot. Sometimes I don't talk a lot. It depends on the vibe of the person. Shit happens. Damn, I need some fucking water. This shit got me fucking I wish this was liquor, but I'm fucking broke right now. Put it on the stool. Fuck it. Put it on the stool. On the stool? The water on the stool, yeah. Well, I was gonna use the stool, but... Well... I like that. There you go. That's that way we won't have any electrical That's accidents. Right. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So let's get back to the weed situation, all right? So, <clears throat> one thing I've noticed is that when men don't have sex, you, it's just not even just men, it's just women in general, everybody in general. Sex is a need in just relationships or just in person, like in just in general, you need sex. I feel like 
Studies show, obviously, I am no doctor. Maybe I am a doctor. Maybe I will be a doctor soon. I don't fucking know. I don't like school. But I'm like, you pay people a couple of dollars, you can just put doctor in the front of your name. So I'm like, shit, maybe this can happen. <laughs> so I was doing the research. Dr. Boola doing research, of course. So I, was, <laughs> so I was doing research. And what I found is that when you don't have sex for at least maybe two, three weeks, because you know, I'm like in a monthly situation we're doing here. If you don't have sex in two to three weeks, you're more likely to have road rage. Obviously, I'm like, everyone's been there before. You know, sometimes you, you, you just like, you, you just feeling it, you drive like, this is basically a guy that hasn't had sex in forever. You know those, those 20, 40 year old virgins? We've all seen that movie. We all have one of those friends. Shit happens. You try to get this guy a girl, he just can't talk to the girl. The girls think he's weird. He probably has freckles and glasses and shit. We can't help him. We still love him though. He's our friend. This is a guy that hasn't had sex in a couple weeks. Let me get in the light because I know I'm dark as well. I've been trying to do lotion. And I've been trying to actually stay inside my skin. I, don't I, thought, want, he, I thought he was trying to beat my ass for a second. Not, Holy shit. Yeah. I just don't want you to die. <laughs> Please, man. I'm like, I'm, I'm black. I'm frightened by white folks. No, I'm just joking. I'm just, I'm just kidding. You guys are nice. You guys, you're not like the Puerto Ricans. Puerto Ricans are more dangerous. Maybe Asians too. I'm like, they might just feed me like King Kong Pum Choi or whatever the fuck it's called nowadays. I don't know. Maybe a dog. Don't tell the China. So this guy is driving down the street. He's like, someone just cut me off. What the fuck? Obviously, you're pissed because you're filled with rage. You haven't had sex in a while. Like you know, I feel like with me, when I'm on, when I have, when I have regular sex, I am a nicer guy. I'm chilling. Things don't bother me as much. You know, I look at the street. I look at the trees. I'm like, wow, it's falling off. It's snowing outside. But you know what? This head is amazing. This, this, i just, I just love this scenery. This car is burning outside. Oh, there's a guy, he's dying. Uh, he'll be all right. Someone should call 911. That's just, you know, just that, that's just basically how you feel. So this is basically the guy that has been having sex for a while. He just dying. Obviously, you're getting some road head off. We've all been there before. If you haven't, Come on, you can't be married if you haven't had road sex. Everybody's had road head before. I'm like, you're gonna marry a freak, of course. I'm like, that's why you got in marriage in the first place. You love each other, y'all are both freaks for each other. Fuck it, it happens. Amen, baby Jesus. So you just, you drive? This nigga just, this nigga just cut me off. What'd you say? Nah, baby, don't, don't, don't worry about it. It's, it's all good. It, shit, I, you spit on my dick a little bit, you know, make me twitch. I hit the blanket by accident. Keep, please, baby, I love you. Keep going. We just gonna die together. It don't matter. We still love each other. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. And that's the beauty of life. Now, <clears throat> I do need some fucking water. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. I had to get some water. You impatient fucks. All you fuckers. Still love you guys. Keep fucking. We're going to be rocking in this shit. We're, we're going to be talking about things, right? So, one thing that I've learned with adulting, this adulting thing has been weird. You know, like I'm 23 now. I just turned 23. Just a couple of days ago, I'm a Virgo. Yes, the Virgo stimulation, we're crazy, whatever, we know it all. So what? Yeah, okay, I know a couple more things in Geminis, Aquarius, Cancers, Leos, and Aries, and whatever the fuck all the other signs are, too. I don't fucking remember all their fucking signs. But it's like, you know, I feel like it's weird how people shit on Virgos. It doesn't make sense. People shit on Virgos and Scorpios and Geminis. Now, do I think it's just because we're better than all the other signs? Maybe they're hating on us. It is what it is. I'm like, it's not my fault. I, I'm like, I didn't just say, okay, so, God, let me, uh, 
No, I don't want December. This is too, this is too cold. I can't have a birthday in December. June. Uh, I'm like 12th in line for June. You know, like da, 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 da. September. Oh, uh, but, like you don't get to pick and choose when the fuck you want to be born. So it just it just happens. You can just get dropped on this earth. And it's crazy because with this adulting thing, I'm, I'm noticing I'm turning into my mother. And I don't know if I should be scared, should I run away, should I just say, you know, fuck it, let me just go back to 17, and let me go back to being like five years old again, I don't fucking know. And I noticed that I've been real excited that I got my laundry done. Like, it's weird, like, it's like, who gets excited? Like, I, I, I finished my laundry, I'm like, Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I got clean clothes. I'm about to go home. I'm about to go clean my house. What? I'm about to probably have somebody over. Let's go party. Something. It's like, it's like, uh, I've never, I've never spoke this language. Like I'm starting to hear my mother every time I start talking, and I'm, I'm really getting scared because it's like I don't want to be like this lady, even though I love my mother to death. But it's like. Holy shit, like the lady that used to beat my ass as a kid, now I'm starting to be like, fuck, I'm getting too motherfucking old. Nah, not really, I'm still young, I still do dumb shit, and I still have fucking fun. And still fuck Bangor PD, because I don't like Bangor police, because they don't like black people. So, since they don't like black people, I don't like them, fuck Bangor police, they suck. Now, even though I said Bangor police sucks, I still owe the court a shit ton of fines that I still haven't paid, but it's like, I'm like, I don't know. It's not like they're gonna really watch this video, maybe they will, maybe I'll tag them in just so they know, but I'm like, I'm under an alias, so we'll never find out about it. <laughs> oh man, I'm like, you know, it's, 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 it's nonsense, you know, it's just like the, the crazy shit that you just think about, you know, like, it's like, one thing I don't understand is like, why don't they just allow us to just, you know, do whatever they want, run wild? Like, I was just watching this movie earlier, Gangs in New York, with Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio. It's a shame how he only has one Oscar. I think they keep fucking him every year, but, you know, I tell Leo, I say, you know what, man? It's okay, you want an Oscar because you got fucked by a bear? Next year you can do better. Don't worry about it, it's all right. I still love you. I still fucking love you. That's still my fucking brother. I love this guy. He's amazing. Like, you know, we were partying together. We went to go get some girls. I'm like, you got a party with Leonardo DiCaprio. I don't do coke, but I'm like, everybody has their fun. Shit happens, right? Fun weekend in Vegas, right? Hopefully. We'll get there soon. Hopefully, hopefully. So, I was watching this movie, Gangs in New York, and one thing I noticed is that it's like in a situation where the people can just run wild and do absolutely what the fuck ever they want. Now, I feel like a society like that would honestly be crazy. Like, that's some shit you see in video games. Obviously, I, do you guys, Xbox, PS4, huh? GTA, I do like GTA, but they have police in it. You guys, you got Xbox, PS4, what do you guys have? PS4. PC? Holy shit, that's crazy. What the fuck? Who plays on a fucking computer nowadays, you fucking nerd? You guys are definitely fucking nerds. No. I do like role-playing games. Role-playing games? I'm a nerd. What type of role-playing games? I like Elder Scrolls. Games based on the D&D rules. Games based You guys ever had a GameCube? Yes, I've had a GameCube? That shit used to be crazy. Like, you, you guys never played Crash, Bandicoot, Tekken, any of those things? I played Tekken. You played Tekken? Yes, one. Halo? I think, I think Halo is trash. I honestly like Modern Warfare better than... I like Call of Duty better than Halo, honestly. You can't say... You really think... It's just because you own a fucking Xbox. That's the only reason why. You're stuck in your ways. Like, you're literally just stuck in your ways. Like, I can't, I can't help you because it's like... He, like, you know... Obviously, yeah, we got the PS4 games and we got the Xbox games, but it's just like, Xbox is always better. Well, PS4 actually is always better. Xbox only has maybe Left 4 Dead, Tekken, whoa, Halo, what else they have? Nothing else really, because Xbox is trash. I like PS4 better. But you know what? I gotta go. I'm about to go smoke some weed, get high, and fucking go play some Madden all fucking night. 
And you know what? It's it's annoying because it's like, you know, I feel like Madden fucks me over once in a while. I'm, I'm going to finish on this because Madden, you're fucking annoying sometimes, right? So I'm dropping the ball right down the fucking field. Obviously, I don't have Tom Brady on my team, so shit. Maybe we're going to be fucked because we don't have Tom Brady, but fucking you. I'm like, we you think you would be better without the fucking guy. I'm like, he's, he can't be that good. Yes, he is. I'm a Patriots fan. Shut the fuck up. So, I'm driving down the fucking field with this team, and it's like I get down to the 19 motherfucking yard line. It just makes no sense. I run a normal slant play. Like, yeah, I'm like, it's been working for the past five fucking plays. So, I'm like, on the sixth play, you know what? Easy. The linebackers are going to drop back. They're not going to get the wide receivers. Easy pitch and catch. It's like in the back fucking yard with my little brother. Like, whoop, touchdown, right? Obviously, the safety blitz, there was a D tackle that dropped back. I threw the ball in a fucking section. What the fuck? I hate fucking Madden. It's annoying. I try to smoke on it. I think, you know, maybe if I smoke, I'll focus more. I feel like it's not allowing me to fuck. Exactly. You're shaking your head. Crazy decision. Crazy. Exactly. Don't smoke weed and play video games. Unless you're playing GTA, then maybe we'll talk about it. I'm out of here. Good night. All right. RSK, let it play, boy.